Anyway, let's get into the crankbait stuff. Mid-depth crankbaits. Now, I'm a cranker of all type. I like all kinds of cranking, but the mid-depth range is probably the most, uh, the most underrated or overlooked thing you ever hear. You hear about shallow cranking and square billing. That's what you hear a lot, and I do that a lot, too. But then you hear a deep cranking, but you don't hear much about that mid-depth zone. And I call that mid-depth zone the uh, 6 to 12 foot zone, which you'll, which you'll hear, uh, you'll, it'll be on one of those pages here in a little bit. That mid-depth 6 to 12 foot zone is a zone that I think more bass really stay in year-round year probably than any other depth zone. And, and you can target that depth zone. And that's been one of my, that's kind of been my key to my success of catching limits all the years. Diving crankbaits in the wintertime, let me break it down. All right, this time of year right now, wintertime up here, the water is probably colder than that. But what's the water right now? It isn't frozen over up here yet, or nothing. is it frozen over? Okay. Some of the water here, then you can't fish real good right now, all right? <laughs> so uh, I, I forgot, I left that out. I forgot I was coming to New Jersey. But uh, if you get in a lake this time of year that's got 40 to 55 degree water, that's, I mean, that's a big, a big range. And, uh, and that, that depth zone, a lot of fish stay in that depth zone and they, and they like rocks. I mean, in riprap, riprap is the most, I mean, it's the most obvious thing. And so many guys, you know, fishing ha fishermen have so much ego that they don't want to fish somewhere that looks like it's just, oh, everybody fishes that. Or, but there's a reason everybody fishes it because it's always got fish on it. And that's the first place that fish come up on is riprap and rocks because they warm up and they've got the algae on them and they, and they, they absorb heat. And that's why riprap's are good. So I target riprap's a lot in, in places in the cold water. And I'll just get on them riprap's. And in that, in that, I've been, to, I live an hour from Gunnersville and I hadn't fished it a whole lot up till I knew we were going to have to class it there. And I went probably 12 or 13 days in a row back and forth. I drove there every day last December uh, before the end, before the cutoff. And I, fish and I found them all over the lake. I had, I had enough GPS waypoints to connect the dots around the whole lake. And, uh, and, I get, and every time though, right before I'd leave to come in, I'd always stop on that riprap, you know, or stop on another riprap. And if I'd run by, I'd say, I'm gonna just see, I'm just catch one real quick, you know, see if I can catch one. I'd go down the riprap and catch a five and a four and might, sometimes you catch a seven. And I'm like, man, then like, why would I not fish riprap here on this lake? I mean, everybody else is going to go out there and fish the grass, but if I can catch them on riprap, I mean, I'll do it. It's easy. So that's what I ended up targeting a lot on that lake. But that depth zone, that's a jerkbait depth zone. I mean, not depth zone, a temperature zone. 40, that 40, 45 is really good for jerkbaiting. And that's a whole other seminar. I think Mike Menendez might talk about that possibly. But um, jerkbaits that time of the year are good, but most of the places I like to look for that time of the year, the water's a little bit stained. And when the water's stained, I don't do as well with a jerk bait. The fish seem to be more laying up against a rock or up against something. And I like to target that sun, those, that, those north pockets and those places that have the sunlight on them, warming them up. And those big, some of those bigger fish will always come up and get in those little sunny places in the, in the wintertime. And that's when you catch some of your biggest fish. Look at, the, look at the, this bait here. This is the regular Howler DMC. This bait will go, you know, if you throw it on 10 pound line on long cast, you can, get, you can get 10 foot out of it probably, but most of the time it's really set. I, I like it for that six to nine foot range. That's, the, that's my key depth zone. That, that one will run that depth zone perfectly. It casts good because it's got sound chip in it. It's got a battery in it. It's got a lot of weight in it. So it's a heavy bait to cast goods. That's what I like about it in the wind and stuff like that. And, it's, and you can see, this is a clear one here, and you can see all the stuff that's in there and the balance in the, in the front, a one knocker in the front as well. So that helps you bait cast it good in the wind. And then when you get it out there, the sound, the, the sound that's on here, I'm going to go to the sound in a minute. I hope you enjoyed the preview clip. And for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips. If you want to become a better angler, you want to catch more and bigger bass at your local pond, then check out Bash University TV for hardcore bass fishing information. Hey, I'm Pete Gluzek. And I'm Mike Iaconelli. And this is Bash University TV.
Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Everywhere I go in the country, I'm trying to use these techniques because I catch big fish that way. From on the water to in the classroom. We want to use that bait to help make that area even smaller and really, really find that sweet spot. You'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. You want something that's got a nice limber action that's gonna allow you to build pressure and keep those hooks pinned against that fish's mouth. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Hold on, because you're gonna catch the big <laughs> fish. Information is power in the sport of fishing, so learn from the very best. That's a key theory in all of fishing. Subscribe to Bass University TV today. Man, does it trigger a lot of strikes. Here's the part that you're not going to hear anywhere else. This is the Bass University TV exclusive.